Okay, we started. Okay. So, can you tell everyone your name, age, and year in SAIC? Um, I'm Lo. Um, I'm 21, and I am now a third year at SAIC. Um, can you tell us why you came here? I originally came for illustration, but now I'm working with photography, so I'm all over the place, but I originally came for illustration, so. Um, how is your experience, like, doing illustration and then now photography? Because I know you still do illustrating, and, like, you do comics and stuff, but how is, like, how is, how are those two areas at SAC? Well, there's, like, two different atmospheres, I guess, like, the critique space, actually just the classroom spaces period are a lot different in illustration than they are in photography. Um, I'm not, I, I wouldn't say that they're bad. Clearly I wouldn't say either any department is bad, but I would just say like, it's definitely a lot different and it fits, but the photography department fits me a lot better. I would say, I, I think just everybody is super bubbly just in different ways in each section. So. So are you like moving away from illustrations? completely i wouldn't say completely like i thought about taking maybe fashion illustration for maybe my third or fourth year but i'm mostly in photography i don't think i didn't i'm not giving it up completely but i don't know if that's like my main focus yeah for like college in general like maybe like it'll still be like something you do because like you have a style already so. It would probably be something that I like add into my other work after college, but it's definitely not going to be like my main foundation of work. So how would you call yourself now? Because like you know how some people are like I'm interdisciplinary, uh, or like they're like I'm like a fashion student. Like what would you call yourself? I would just call myself a photography slash graphic design student, um, but mostly photography. But I mean, if they ask, I would let them know that I'm an illustrator, but that's usually what I tell people first. Okay. Um, how are your critiques, like, how have those been for you? They've been pretty good. Actually, in the photo department specifically, they've been really, really good. Um, I'm not going to say that they were bad in the illustration department, but I feel like I got a lot more out of the photography department um, because just the, I think it's just the way that I communicate what I want to communicate through my photography just relates better in the photo department. And so I get better critiques out of the photo department, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had, um, like, any issues in general with your critiques? Um, I mean, being a Black student, like, a lot of times, like, people will avoid, like, talking fully about certain topics if I, like, go into depth about, like, personal things about being a Black woman. But, like, besides that, it's not... There, nothing really bad comes out of it. It's just, it's a little annoying when you don't get the full thing just because people are uncomfortable, but you know, that's a work in progress for a lot of black students. Yeah, I know a lot of, I know it's come up in conversation a lot for people I've interviewed and um, like whenever I have the time to go to BSU meetings. Um, do you have like, has like anyone told you anything that like could try to like help that process or is it still like something you're navigating I'm still like navigating it I mean I was at this point I've like figured out that like I almost have to just not force being uncomfortable but more like I have to like be determined to ask the questions because if I leave it alone I'm not going to get any answers uh -huh. um, so I'm, I'm still getting used to that but I wouldn't say I have, like, a set solution for myself yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. Gotcha. Do you have a class that you felt, like, wasted your time? Um, probably... Be honest. Probably a multi-level drawing class. <laughs> probably wasted the most time, okay. to be honest. And that's not because I didn't like the illustration. It was just the way that they taught and just the way that they specifically i don't know i think it was the way that i was treated within that class specifically just made it seem like a waste of time because i wasn't getting any anything out of it and i was i was getting more negative impact than positive mm -hmm. like in what way like from like the teacher or the class or both 
Um, it, it was like a mixture of both, but mostly the teacher, surprisingly, because I've gotten a couple of comments that are just like weird, um, more, I don't know, just kind of like- a microaggression like, comment? A little bit, like just kind of aggressive, kind of like, oh, well, clearly you can't do this specific thing. It, it was really bad. I didn't enjoy it at all. I don't like that teacher, <laughs> to be completely honest, but that's what that was. And like, it was like- very aggressive most of the time that I spoke with her in that class I don't I really don't know why like it wasn't like I did anything specifically it was just like I would be in critiques and she said a comment like that and then it would be other times where it's like she would be sort of aggressive when I'm doing like a presentation or something that is trying to like say that what I'm saying isn't correct or like I'm not putting enough effort into something and it's it was always directed at me and mm-hmm. I didn't understand it so I just left it alone <laughs> but that's what that was mm. that's yeah that's really, uncomfortable <laughs> when did you take that class that was first semester last year so oh really yeah mm. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't too long ago okay what about like a favorite class um oh that's kind of hard um, you can list multiple. I mean, my favorite classes so far have all been my photo classes. That was photo one. Um, I had a photo class with Sasha, um, which was... Jesus, I can't remember. Justin talked about having a class with Sasha. I forgot what it was called, though. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I'm blanking on the name, but I had a class with her, and then I had um, post-production. But basically all of my classes within photo would be my favorite so far. Mm-hmm. I mean, it makes sense, especially if you want to have your own magazine. I feel like, I feel like ever since I've seen you take photography classes, you like get to exercise a creative freedom that's like more fulfilling that to you. Like that's what it seems like. It's like you, yeah. I feel like you enjoy making sets and like scenes and like just like photo shoot atmosphere. Yeah, I, I mean, I've always loved illustration, but I feel like my ideas interpret better within photo and i've had a lot more fun within photography than anything else so Mm -hmm. um how do you feel about seic like now that you attend it and especially like with all of the (laughs) racist (laughs) things coming out about this institution um well (laughs) i mean once i got here once i got there I was like super happy and I'm still like super happy to attend it. It's not like I hate the school. I absolutely love it or else I wouldn't go here. Mm. Um, but there definitely is a lot of problems that aren't talked about. And I at first didn't realize it because when you're a freshman, you're like still getting used to everything. You're not like, well, a lot of the times you're not really trying to like challenge anything that you're seeing around you. You're more just getting used to the space, especially when you're by yourself. But now that I'm like, I have this magazine and I'm like trying to push it out as much as I possibly can within the campus, like I'm starting to realize where we get pushed back into the shadow. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I didn't notice it at first, but now I'm like super, I'm really realizing it. And I'm like trying to figure out ways to challenge that to get myself out there because obviously I deserve just as much of a chance as anybody else. Mm -hmm. So especially when I work as hard as I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, do you feel like like there's something specifically that you would change or no? Um, I mean, the main thing that I would change is just to have black students and people of color viewed around the campus a lot more. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like I, we, I, we see art that's by white people more often than not. Which is like not to say that they aren't worthy of having it. Mm-hmm. It's more of like a well, yeah, and so am I. Mm-hmm. You know, and I just don't understand why, because there aren't very many of us mm-hmm. in the first place. And I know every single one of the black people that are in this campus don't like. It. I know we try. I know there's no way that not nobody tries. So I know that you have a chance to put us like display us in different areas. And I've gotten a display case, so it's kind of hard for me to say that I never there but also I've seen people get bigger opportunities that I also could could have been I could have had the same amount of opportunity Mm -hmm. so I think you and Justin are the only ones I know that have gotten that have gotten what like a display case that have yeah like black 
see that's what that's what i'm saying or <laughs> actually like, like just like i mean like i know other people get it like in photo it's i feel like in photo it's a little more frequent because like it's like a opportunity to like show how you will like present your space to like the public to, like present your stuff but if you guys are the only ones i know that have gotten that maybe grace Grace, I think Grace has, but I don't think Grace has had a full, I, I don't know, I can't say fully, but I don't think Grace has had, like, a full space by herself, at least that I haven't seen yet. Mm-hmm. She might have, but I, I can't, besides the um, the yeah, end of the year show. Oh, and for people year. watching, this is not white Grace that I just interviewed, this is black Grace that <laughs> is that just graduated, because I, I interviewed Grace, who is also in photo. Oh, That, okay. yeah, yeah. Um... How would you feel like your like dorming experience has been? My what experience? Dorm, uh, like dorming. Oh, um, I love it actually. I really do like it. I have the opportunity to be with Denver, so like it's obviously really comfortable, and I enjoy the space, like the campus, and the the dorms are beautiful. Like honestly, we're really lucky compared to a lot of different schools to have a dorm like that. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's anything specifically wrong. With you guys have a walk-in closet, which is amazing. Yeah, I really like that. I honestly really enjoy that because I need that space, but mm-hmm. <laughs> you need that space too, to be honest. <laughs> Surprisingly, actually, my closet works. Like, I actually don't have enough space hanging, like, not, no. I actually don't fill up enough hanging space as, like, I should. For jackets, Just forget whatever. about it. But, like, for regular clothes, no. Um, yeah, my dad always makes fun of me for, like, not for like having like so much hanging space left but i mean it's that's that's how it is um i asked justin this when i interviewed him last night um and i was like do you feel like the things that are being brought up um against the school like makes you not want to go there or like make gives you like hesitations about going there um not necessarily um, and I feel like it kind of should, like, it, the fact that, like, SAC isn't really thinking about refunding, like, tuition in certain extents and stuff like that, but all of a sudden, they're, like, so eager to like, put out so like, much money mm-hmm. for like, different organizations makes me think, like, do you really care about the, you know, do you really care about the situation and do you really care about the students? Because now all of a sudden you came up with this money that you couldn't give away mm-hmm. when we needed it, when we weren't, you know, but like now it just doesn't make any sense to me. So like things like that make me think like, oh, okay, that's a little shady. And like, do you really care about the students that you're defending right now? Or are you just doing that so people don't decide not to go there? Mm-hmm. And like, even with all of that, I don't want to say that I don't want to go there because I absolutely love the school like the the classes that I've taken, I've had the opportunity to be with amazing black teachers for photo. And like, they give me so much that I don't want to go. Um, but <laughs> higher people though, I have a problem with because like you do stuff like that. And then you also aren't willing to like reduce tuition for people that can't come back to campus for certain reasons. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Mm-hmm. So, it's How- like mixed emotions, but. Okay. How do you feel, like, I've asked some people, well, not, like, on video, but, um, if we, if we have to be online in the, um, fall, are you still gonna do it? No, <laughs> absolutely not. I had that, I've had that thought for, like, a couple months now, and I really don't want to go back if it's online, because the minute that they switched online, it was a disaster, mm-hmm. <laughs> to be completely honest, and, like, I take obviously the studio classes are the most important for me and I'm sure a lot of other students that go there because we're in art school and like I definitely didn't get as much as I should have out of my classes while I was online and I'm not paying full tuition to go online it just doesn't make any sense to me so I just wouldn't I would just have to wait a year or semester or so but I really don't want to didn't you um when you came like before you came didn't you wait or did you like go to what what was it you wait you I, waited right i had originally wanted to go to scad so i waited a year because i couldn't go immediately because they didn't give me um a lot for scholarships mm-hmm. and i was gonna save to go but then i was like well i have 
a good school here. I might as well just go here. So that was actually a better choice anyway. <laughs> so. mm. How did that, how was that like deferring for a year? Like, did, was it, did it feel weird like when you came and like started? It was a relief to come back, to be honest. I feel like it's different for every person, but for me, it was horrible <laughs> being gone for a year because I just, I, obviously, like, you're used to being at school, like, every single year for high school, middle school, and, like, being gone for a year was not fun for me. Like, at the, you know, the first half of the year, I was like, oh, like, it's relaxing not to have to go to school for a while, but then, like, just going to work at a place where I knew that I didn't want to work for the rest of my life was like, okay, well, like, now I'm in a pause in my life. Like, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. I want to go to school. So it was actually really nice to go back. I was on my own and I was out of the house and I was able to do what I wanted to do. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to run by you besides like the advice question. Cause like you have been the quickest interview I've ever done. It's only been 16 minutes. (laughs) <laughs> um, I've been getting quick answers. So. Yeah, so concise and fast. <laughs> um, okay, let's talk about BSU, okay. and then and then we'll like we'll cut it. <laughs> okay. Um, how are you? Because like you were talking about how like you're starting your magazine. This will BSU will link into this in a moment. Okay. Um, you were talking about like you started your magazine and like you wanted to like I forgot the exact words you used but um like when you were talking about your magazine I was thinking like did you ever think of turning it into a club like at school I mean honestly if I could that wouldn't be a bad idea I just that's so much time to Mm -hmm. take but I never, I never really thought about that, but that honestly would be a good idea because, like, that gets so many black people in the same area, and it talks about the same things, and, like, I can honestly turn that information from the club into some like, content that can go into the magazine because I do want to expand it to more than just photo-based. Even though it is photo-based and it will always be photo-based, I want to have, like, text, and I want to have more people involved. Um, so, honestly, it's not a terrible idea. It's just time yeah (laughs) because we have classes and we also have like all of these projects that we want to do and i wouldn't mind you know having something like that but it's just so much time and i don't want to abandon it yeah that makes sense because i the reason i brought it up was because um like bsu and like other club organizations like they get school funding um like because like you you set up um like a meeting with student government who is all black at the moment well yeah, even though three of them are graduating, so I don't know who's actually going to be in student government this coming year. Um, but, like, student government has been black since I've been here. Like, everyone in, like, the group. So, and, like, BSU, the fashion student chapter, they all get, like, all of the clubs get funding from the school. Um, I don't know, like, if you thought about, like, using it to, like, aid your magazine, or even, like, and then, like, to lead into BSU, like, how do you feel about BSU and, like, how is it for you? Because I haven't gone for a while because of fashion. And then I was also talking to Justin last night about, like, because I know you were really into, like, maybe trying to, like, take charge of it. And he was like, I don't know about that anymore. I mean, I at first I had wanted to, like, really, really bad. I was like, oh, like, that would be a really great thing to have. But... I just don't want I don't I don't want to like take it and then all of a sudden I'm just never there you know like I feel like I definitely couldn't do it by myself 100% it would have to be at least like four or five people honestly so like we could rotate but I just don't want to take that up that um responsibility and it's just I'm just never there and like nobody ever sees me or like I cancel it a bunch of times like, I just I just don't want to do that even though I would love to take it it's just I don't want to. Yeah, I just don't want to do that. <laughs> do you feel like the club in general, like when you first came, was like a nice aid? Because when I came to school, like going through orientation, I didn't even know what BSU was. Like I remember Reggie came up to me. I don't know if I. I think I'm pretty sure I told you the story. And he like gave me a water bottle and he was like, "You should come to BSU." And I'm like, "What's that?" And he was like, the yeah, Black I didn't know what Union. Was 
I didn't know. He, I did not know. He actually came up to me too and was like, "You should, you should come." I had no clue what it was, which is another problem. It's like a lot of black people don't know that that's even there. Mm-hmm. So you should at least let people know that it's there. But I don't know. I mean, I definitely thought it was a great thing when I first got there because, like, I met all of you from BSU. I met Denver first, but then I met everybody else from BSU. So I mean, that's obviously a really good space for us to meet people and like understand that we're not the only ones in the community dealing with the same problems it's just i think over time like it's separated and then i didn't have time to go anymore Uh and it sucked but i don't know i feel like if i could i would i mean i wouldn't mind taking over or like at least being a part of it like even if it was a group of people and i don't turn the magazine into a complete club like even if bsu was just like an extension of or I mean, the magazine was just an extension of BSU, and like I was a and like a part of like planning and stuff like that. I wouldn't mind that because like I mean, my whole all of my content is about black people and like our life as black people. So I, of course, don't mind that. It could be that like option could be smarter because um, like then like when you graduate, like you're gonna want to take it with you. You don't want to want to leave it at the school. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Do you have any advice for people that are looking at SAC or thinking of coming? Um, I definitely, I mean, I love it. I love the school. It's just like, there are obviously parts of SAC that are a lot of, like a lot of other institutions that you're gonna have problems with. Like, it's gonna be like that almost everywhere you go until like there's a major change worldwide. But I definitely say that you should go. If you, like, if you're looking at it and like you're really interested, like don't, don't be hesitated to go because you get such amazing opportunities there like we're attached to like a really important uh, museum and like we have we have amazing professors like that's no doubt so I definitely I I I recommend it (laughs) I like it so okay well thank you for the advice this was I'm so like astonished how quickly this went (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I think I, didn't, I thought it would be longer too, but yeah, because I've interviewed people for like twenty minutes, but also for like an hour and a half. So an hour with the same amount of questions. Yeah, well, like not with like with the same amount of questions, but like different things. Different things came up in conversation, um, because it was with the show though. Um, oh. And oh, like okay. we were talking about like the sound department and then like the block experience and things he's had to deal with with like different professors. Um, and like his journey to come to SAIC. And that one was my longest one. And I had to edit some of it too. Cause there oh, were well. like bathroom breaks and like, yeah. So. Oh, well, I, I talk kind of fast, so. No, it, I'm pretty sure people watching will appreciate your concise answers. I will make sure to put your YouTube in the description with your Instagram. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bye bye to the people potentially watching. Thank you, Lo, again for letting me interview you. Yep, of course.